Hi everybody, it's Jackie here from Stampin' Jack. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today is Monday the 26th of March and this is um, a pre-recording um, of to replace my normal Monday night Facebook Live because as you're watching this I'm in France somewhere skiing, hopefully not hurtling down a slope but uh, having fun with my son. So to give you a weekly fix, I would, I, I would record some videos for you anyway. So I've got um, three projects for you uh, this evening. Now, today, uh, it being Monday, means that it is, this is now the last week of um, celebration, which means that you have until the 31st of March um, to get your hands on our celebration um, freebies. I've been talking about these, this promotion's been going on since... January and it's been going on a while but it's nearly over so do make sure to get your order in by the end of the week in order to get hold of your freebies um, and in addition to that um, exclusively for you guys um, I've got another sp a special offer running that any orders over £45 um, will also qualify for a free pack of rhinestones from me so in addition to your um, free celebration item which you get to choose when you order I will then send you a pack of our rhinestones for free because, you know, you can always do with a bit of bling in your life, couldn't you? Um, and that was just my way of saying thank you to you for supporting my business. But anyway, on to the crafting. So because this is the last week of celebration, the projects I've got for you tonight um, are made using, um, using celebration products. So let's start with um, the first one I want to do is using the um, Eclectic Expressions um, stamp set. Now last week I made a card with this set and this is it here. I just love these soft circles, it's absolutely gorgeous. But tonight I want to make something a little bit different. Um, and where it's come from is my son is going to a birthday party soon and it's a paintball birthday party. So I wanted to make a sort of like a camouflage card and I thought that these images here would lend themselves quite nicely to that so that's what we're going to do. So I'm starting with the card that's always a choke and then I've got a layer of uh, early espresso and then I have um, a piece of uh, very vanilla so I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper just one second So let's bring in our inks. So I'm going to use always artichoke, early espresso, crumb cake, and soft suede. Just bear with me one second. That's it. Okay, so we've got our four colours and as I said, I'm going to use these two images here. So we've got this one and this one. Put those on our blocks. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the lightest colour, which is crumb cake. And I'm going to just stamp all over randomly. Because this is the lightest colour, I want quite a bit of coverage. I'm just going to stamp off a bit. Okay. Then I'm going to come in with my soft suede. And you can see that I'm stamping off as well with this. There you go. Just to get different grades of colour. I'm going to use our always artichoke next. And I'm not bothering to clean off my stamp in between um, colours because I'm getting gradually darker, so it doesn't make much difference. Okay. Yeah. Just keep going like that. And then I'm going to come in with the smaller... Um, image now just 
add more. I want to make this really covered. I don't want really want the base colour showing through at all. And then I think I'm going to go over it again with a bit of crumb cake. So just to give it a bit more depth. There we go. Happy with that. Okay. Nice bit of camouflage going there. And then I'm going to take a scrap of um, very vanilla and I'm going to stamp the sentiment, which is this happy birthday here. Okay, let's grab my block. And I'm going to do that in early espresso. Make it up nicely. And then I'm just going to grab my punch. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, actually, I'm going to use a different one. Normally, I use my triple banner punch, but I can't find. Oh, no, there it is. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to snip the ends of this one. Like so. Oh, that didn't work. Hang on, I've got it a bit too close, so let's do that again. There we go, that's better. Okay, and then we're just going to bring in some twine. So we're just going to get some glue and I'm going to just glue our panel here. Our brown piece. There we go, and then I'm going to take my twine and a little bit of snail on the back here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to. Start at this end, and all I'm going to do is just wrap my twine around like so. Okay, and then we're just going to pop it there on my snail on that end. Okay, so we've got a bit of extra texture going there, and I'm going to pop that up. So I'm bring my dimensionals in. You know, here's a quick tip for you. If you peel the back off your dimensionals, it sticks down a lot better. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot to take the backs off. Dear, oh dear. Right, so let's put that down like so. Go, and then our happy birthday. I'm going to take my bone folder, and I'm just going to Curl it a little. I want to give it a little bit of dimension. Wiggle it. That's the technical term, by the way. And then I'm just going to pop one here and one here. Good. And then pop that down like so. And then just trim this end. Go. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the end here to hold that piece down. Okay. 
like so. So there we have it, a camouflage birthday card. Good, huh? So who would have thought, that's why I like sets like this one, is that you can take something that looks really light and ethereal and beautiful and soft, and yet the same stamp set, you can create this, which is also fantastic. You've got a completely different look. And you get it for free, so, you know, what's not to love, as they say. So that's card number one, and that's using the Eclectic Expressions stamp set. Okay, let's put that away. And now we'll make room for our second project. So our second project is using some designer series paper, okay, um, which is the... Bubbles and Fizz, just bring that. So it's the Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper, which again is one of the free items from Celebration. And I just love the bright colours in this one, gorgeous. And I'm also going to use this embossing folder, which is a regular item in our um, catalogue. But the other week, Stampin' Up allowed or released a number of our regular items are now included in the um, celebration so you can get this for free as well with a 45 pound order so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this piece of bermuda bay and i'm just going to emboss it so let me get the big shot there we go. Okay. take that out so we've got our basic platform our bottom cutting plate make sure this is in here so that my stripes are straight there we go and a cutting plate on top and just run that through and there we go I'm going to use this side of it rather than the raised side okay so we'll pop that away bring in our paper. So we've got a Daffodil Delight card base. I'm just going to fold that in half. Okay. And our panel will just go on top there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our tailored tag punch. Um, which is in the spring summer catalogue and this is a great way to use up your scraps because what I'm going to do is just punch out a number of these using the punch. Okay. This way, because I want the stripes going the same way. I want... I'm not sure how many of these I want so let's just see how we go. Pop out a few. And yeah, let's do two of these. Okay. And then I'm going to, on a scrap of white, I'm just going to stamp my greeting. Now, my greeting is from the, um, this is from our, oh, I can't remember the name, but it's from our um, Lots of Happy card kit. And so it's a complete complete card making kit um, so I've got everything you need to make various cards I haven't got the box with me otherwise I'd show you um, but I'm going to use this stamp here which says sending you lots and lots of happy I'm going to stamp that in black So, and I'm going to punch that out using our punch. See, it fits beautifully. There we go. Okay. And now, bring back our piece. I'm going to just arrange these on here. Now I have no real plan in my mind of exactly how I want this to look, so we'll have to see how we go. All right, and put 
one there. The other one there. That's it. I think. I think we'll have another stripe. Oh, wrong punch. Hmm. Okay, and I think actually we might just do that. Let's see. Yep, that's better. Okay, so let's get our dimensionals again. So you could do this with any kind of patterned paper, any at all. Um, but I just wanted to show you this gorgeous, bright um, designer series paper. Again, free with a £45 order. Okay, so we'll place our sentiment first. I want that popped up. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to glue these others down. Do I prefer it like that? No, I like the stripe. So I only want to glue on one side of this because it's not going to stick completely. I'm going to trim some off. Okay. So we'll just line that up like so. Trim that in a moment. Then we'll take oops, we'll take this one. I'm trying to leave a little bit of a gap um, between the panels, between these bits, so that you can see the cardstock underneath. There we go. This one went here, didn't it? Yes. Okay. Oh. Hold on now. Just squeeze in there a little. Okay, all right, and then we flip it over. We're just going to take our scissors and we're just going to trim away the excess. Okay, and the same on this side. There we go. Then I think we're going to pop this one up as well. So, and the reason I'm doing that is because it's an embossed panel. I could glue it down, but it probably wouldn't sit that flat anyway. So I may as well pop it up. Remembering to peel the backs off my dimensionals, my top tip. <laughs> Perfect. Easy peasy. Great way to use up your scraps of patterned paper. Don't hoard it. We all do it. We know we do it and we shouldn't. It's such a waste. I know it's pretty and I don't. I know we just don't want to cut into it, but we should do it. So there we go. That's the... Um, so that's two items you can get free. So that's the embossing folder and the Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper. That's project number two. Project number three is using 
what's probably been the biggest hit of celebration so far, and that's the Party Pandas stamp set. These pandas are just so, so cute. Um, and I just think these are ones that you can just put on all sorts of cards, not just kids' cards. And you've got some nice little sentiments here and stuff. So they're just a lot of fun. So I'm going to do a little, I don't know what you call it, maybe a, a peekaboo card for this one. So I've just got my um, front panel here. And what I'm going to do is I've got my, whoops, circles framelits. And I'm just going to arrange these. I don't want them. I'm just going to arrange these on my piece of paper, like so. And I'm going to bring in my big shot. Oops. Okay, so I've put my thin die adapter back on for this one because I'm die cutting rather than embossing. I'm just going to place my cardstock down and put my pieces back. Where I had them? Where did I have them? Can anybody remember? <coughs> uh, let's do it like that. There we go. I'm singing from the edge a little. Okay. And then let's put our plates down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oops. So now what I have is a panel with three circles cut out of it. Okay. And use these on another project. And now I have another piece which is exactly the same size as this piece which is going to go underneath. Okay and what I'm going to do is use my pencil and I'm just going to carefully trace inside the circles. You'll see why in a second. Okay not worried about it being too precise this is just a marker for me okay and this is the panel that we're going to do our stamping on so let me go so I'm going to use our friend with the hat and I'm also going to use our friend with the love note and I'm just going to stamp these guys in black and bring in my scrap paper okay so what I want to do is I want to have these guys peeping through these circles. That's why I have them. Okay, so I'm just going to line my stamp up. So I want this guy in here. And then I want this guy. Let's have him popping in like so. There we go. And I think we'll have him up here as well. There we go. Okay. And now you'll see when I put my circles back over the top, we've got our cute pandas peeping out. Isn't that sweet? So before I do that, I just want to rub out my pencil lines this looks like he's got a space helmet on doesn't it <laughs> it's giving me an idea for another card there we go and the last one Before we go any further, I'm going to do a bit of colouring. So I'm going to colour. I'm going to take my marker and I'm just going to colour this hat using lemon lime twist. But you could use any colour you like. And I'm going to use this end. 
go. And then I'm going to get my red marker, just one second. Red. And do his dots in red. And then I'm just going to do the little hearts on these envelopes in red because they're going to show. Okay, there we are. So now bring back in our panel. I'm going to stamp the greeting. Oh, look what I've done. Look what I've done. Never mind, I can do that. Oh, I've got a smudge on that side as well. Let's see if we can get rid of that. There we go. Brilliant. Now let me check my fingers, make sure I don't have any more red anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to do happy birthday. Okay. And we're going to stamp that in black. So I'm going to put the happy birthday here in the middle. So now we're going to turn it over and I'm going to bring in my adhesive strips. Perfect for this. And just going to place that around each of my circles. Snip that if I can find my scissors, which is here somewhere. Here's this one. Okay. Oops. Now this one. I love the way because this is a strip like this, you can bend it into all sorts of different shapes to suit what you're doing. It's fantastic. Okay, and then we'll add some around here. And another piece. And then just to keep the card supported all the way around, I'm just going to add pieces in the corners here as well. Okay, there we go. So then we'll peel our backings off. already gone. There we go. I've just realized a problem with my turning my thingy around. Can you see my deliberate mistake? Oh dear, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let's, uh, let's stamp them again. I'll have to guess a little bit on this, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh. Didn't think of that. Never mind. Never mind. There's always a way to fix these things. Okay. So let's 
see where we're going with this one. Okay, and then we'll take our little one. Now you can see why the pencils, pencil marks, make this so much easier. There we are. And then I'm going to stamp this guy up here, like so. There. Okay. And I'm just going to lay that piece on top. And then I'll come back in with my marker again. It was this that smudged my finger, so I'll just have to be careful. Okay. There we go. Yay! Rescued from the brink of disaster. Okay, and now I've got a panel on the inside, so I'm just going to stamp another little guy in the corner. Pop him here. And Let's colour in his little heart as well, shall we? There we go. Wipe my hands. There we go. Right, so now we've got our black card base. Just fold and score. And I've noticed I've got a smudge on my finger, so let's get rid of that. There we go. Okay. We'll put our piece on the inside first. Not for any particular reason, other than that I just picked it up first, so... There's no great mystery to it. Or rhyme or reason. Let's line that up. There we go. And then for our front, we've got a piece of red. We're going to attach our peekaboo panel to. Like so. There we go. And then we're just going to glue that onto our black card base. And then I think this needs a little bit of extra bling. So I'm going to use my black rhinestones. These were in the um, autumn winter catalogue but uh, if you haven't got black rhinestones what you can do is take a black sharpie marker and colour your rhinestones to make them black and again if you place, you place an order you'll get a packet of rhinestones for free to do just that with so let's see and there and then let's put a teeny one here and maybe one over here there we go lovely and there we have it so that's the party pandas stamp set free so let's that's it for tonight let's bring back in our project so we've got the party pandas 
we've got the um, Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper and S Simple Stripes embossing folder. And we've got the Eclectic Expressions um, camouflage card. So I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment. Let me know which one is your favourite. As I say, make sure to visit my um, online store. I'll put the link in the description of the video here for you. And um, before the 31st of March to get your order in so that you can get these freebies and get your free pack of um, rhinestones as well as a special thank you from me. So thank you all. Sorry I haven't been here live this week, but I shall be back again next week, 2nd of April. Have a lovely Easter and I'll see you all soon. Bye.